And I would like to welcome you once more to the Spiritualist Circle of Light. We are going to draw today's lesson from S.J. Loveland's book, Mediumship, a course of seven lectures. And this was published in 1889. And he tells us that in tracing phenomena, we must never forget that the characteristics displayed by a given phenomenon are the infallible indices to guide us in our search for the producing cause. In other words, what we have witnessed, we question it, and through questioning it, we use these questions to guide us in our investigation. We write down all that we saw. We write down our thoughts about it. And then we sift through this because this is our guide. This is our index. We sift through this to help us determine the cause. So, he also tells us that it would be fruitless and foolish to look for the causes of earthquakes or cyclones in the mind. But no more so than to expect to explain poetry and philosophy by studying the laws of chemistry, meaning that if you're going to investigate, do a proper investigation. Look in the relevant areas. And he also tells us that each department of being impresses its own characteristics upon all phenomena issuing in whole or in part therefrom. Now, this is mediumship. And with mediumship, you see the medium, the message bearer, the psychic, and the they're doing message work or even sometimes doing readings. They will close their eyes. And when you observe this, and when you see their eyes closed, that is telling you that if you were to investigate this phenomena, you too have to go to the same place or a similar place that they go, which is the mind. They go within. Now, the thing you have to keep in mind is when they are doing this, they are putting themselves into a state of reception. And when I do this with the church that I serve, the first spiritual church of prayer, I tell them and you as well, remember that time Remember that time when you were nurtured. Remember how it felt. Remember the emotions that came up. Remember all of that. And again, remember what it felt like when you gave assistance to another, when you nurtured another. Remember that, that sensation, that emotion. Allow that to build within you. Just close your eyes and visualize these instances. Visualize them. Remember the emotions and immerse yourself in the emotions because when you do this, you are making yourself receptive. And those souls that are about they will adjust their frequency to come within the chord, using a musical example here, because a chord is made up of several notes. And a chord typically harmonizes 
So you have this harmonizing field that you are immersing yourself with love, with nurturing, and they adjust their frequency, their resonance to yours, to become part of yours. And then that is how they commune with you. This is how you begin your investigation into the phenomena of mediumship. When attempting to understand the phenomena of spiritualism, we must look within its framework, and its framework is mediumship. Through mediumship, through the circle, through the seances, let's start with the idea that the circle is more of a private gathering for learning, for exploration, whereas the seance is more of a public demonstration. And we're going to stress the circle. And when you form a circle for your investigation or as part of your investigation, you want, you want the participants to have similar thoughts as you, to be of a similar frame of mind, to be curious. To be curious. And when all of you sit down, all of them, all of you want to remember those times when you were nurtured and those times when you nurtured others, because this is what puts you together draws all the different aspects to you of you into a single entity your thoughts are no longer scattered you're focused all of you are focused on nurturing and because there are more than just the one more than just you their combined harmony their combined resonance will attract those souls to come towards you to adjust their frequency to harmonize with yours and the thing to keep in mind when you are doing this is to know your thoughts and to be attentive because those thoughts that might enter your mind may not be your thoughts and we are all open in different ways some of us may sense the emotions that are not quite ours or not quite part of the group or thoughts that are not quite theirs not quite part of the group or words people use words differently you know how you talk you know how you express yourself so when you hear an expression in your mind you will know that it's someone else that it's one of these souls and voice it voice it even if you're not sure just allow it to come out just voice it the characteristics of spiritualism communication with souls prophecy and the like they rest within the phenomena itself meaning they rest within this this experience that you are having that you are setting about to explore the phenomena of mediumship encompasses a variety of faculties of the mind we might might call it clairvoyance and clairvoyance covers a lot you know you might hear something you might see something we have different exercises to develop these these talents I don't want to say gifts because they're not really gifts because we already have them we have to take the time to develop them and that's what part of this is about taking the time to develop yourself your mental capacities now this does not mean that mediumship is a universal practice because science, science has explored this, and science has discovered that these abilities, mediumship, clairvoyance, prophecy, and the like, all 
rest within or are connected with the temporal lobes. And I think it favors one more than the other. But this, these talents are part of the temporal lobes here. And what they do is whatever happens to be roped into your temporal lobe there could be emotions, could be sight, could be hearing, could be colors, could there's a variety, but it's not a universal practice because some people stumble into it, others purposefully develop it, and others still are not impressed with it. So the phenomena that you are investigating rests within the characteristics of the individual, meaning that rests within your characteristics. And when I teach mediumship, when I teach this development of this particular talent, this ability, I always stress, and there are many spiritualist writings that stress the same thing, you must learn yourself. You must know who you are. I think the cliche is know thyself. As we were talking about this investigation, that's where you investigate. You investigate within. You can read all you want. And there are some good books to read. There are some excellent books for you to read through Google's public domain selection and what you do is you go to you know Google I think Google has a, a Google library or something like that I don't recall I don't know if they still have it but you put in your search parameters and you're gonna have to play with it to find what you want or you pick up a good book and you look at its bibliography you look at where it drew its sources from Anything I write is going to have a bibliography. Just because I have a great idea doesn't mean it's good. But if that same good idea is in other writings, then it has to be better than a good idea. It must be fantastic. And so I'm going to leave you with that. You know, if you have questions about mediumship and how to develop it and such, I've got some information on our website, which should be scrolling across the page. And also, there are some videos I have about it. And there are some books you can find that are excellent sources John Edmonds and George Dexter's spiritualism is a good one uh, E W Wallace uh, is another one which is unfolding your medium no no it is mediumship and psychical unfoldment that's another good one to look at and Alan Kardec's books are good to look at. You can find them in the public domain. You can also find them through some of these online used bookstores at relatively decent prices. They would be reprints, but they are available. Avail yourself of them. Or look around your local area. I'm sure there's a medium there. Or a spiritualist church. Spiritualist churches are usually pretty good. If you're in the Michiana area or the Indiana, northern Indiana, southern Michigan area there, you can find the First Spiritual Church of Prayer. That happens to be in South Bend, Indiana. And again, you can contact me Here's my email address. Just put in it question. And I'll get back to you. So, I want to thank you for dropping by. I hope you liked the video. If so, 
share it with somebody, like it, subscribe, visit our Facebook page for daily inspirations, and explore our YouTube channel. There are two of them that we have. There is one bird in sky, B-R-D-N-S-K-Y, and then there is, of course, this one here, Spiritualist Circle of Light. Thank you again.